Egypt's deserts stretch across over 90% of its land, barren, dry, and seemingly lifeless. But what if this vast emptiness could be transformed? What if billions of tons of water could turn sand into farmland? In the past decades, Egypt has undertaken some of the most ambitious water projects in the world, redirecting massive amounts of fresh water into the desert. From the New Valley Project to Toshka and even inspirations from Libya's great man-made river, billions of dollars have been invested to reshape the nation's future. With millions of acres of land at stake and water supplies being stretched to their limits, the question remains, was this an engineering breakthrough? or an environmental gamble? And more importantly, what happened after billions of tons of unsalted water were unleashed into the Sahara? The numbers are staggering, the consequences unexpected. Let's uncover the truth behind Egypt's boldest move to reclaim its desert. Over 5 billion cubic meters of water redirected into the Sahara. That's enough to fill 2 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. But how did Egypt manage such a colossal feat? The government initiated a series of mega projects aimed at reclaiming desert land. Using advanced canal systems and underground reservoirs, billions of tons of water were pumped deep into the barren lands. The goal? To create over 1.5 million acres of fertile land from nothing but sand. Massive pipelines stretching hundreds of kilometers were laid down, and satellite imagery captured the transformation as patches of green began appearing in the desert. But with such enormous amounts of water involved, questions arose. Was this sustainable? Some experts warned that rapid water consumption could strain Egypt's limited water resources. Others believed it was the only way to secure food production for a rapidly growing population. One thing was certain. Egypt had taken a bold step. But would it pay off? Launched in 1997, the New Valley Project aimed to convert 540,000 acres of desert into farmland. Using water from underground aquifers and the Nile, canals were constructed to divert water deep into the western desert. So far, over 200,000 acres have been successfully cultivated, producing crops like wheat, corn and vegetables. The project also created thousands of jobs, supporting Egypt's agricultural expansion. However, challenges remain. The underground water supply is finite, and maintaining irrigation in such harsh conditions requires massive investment. With global water shortages increasing, some wonder, can the New Valley project sustain itself in the long run? Originally planned to reclaim 540,000 acres, the Toshka project saw mixed success. Only about 10% of its target was cultivated in its early years, but a renewed effort in recent years is changing its fate. With investments surpassing $6 billion, the project is expanding and now contributes significantly to Egypt's wheat and fruit production. Advanced irrigation techniques have helped overcome previous failures. Still, the challenge remains. Can Toshka fulfill its original promise and become Egypt's agricultural powerhouse? In Libya, the great man-made river transports 6.5 million cubic meters of water daily, supplying farmlands and cities. Could Egypt replicate this success? Egypt has vast underground water reserves, but extraction is costly. Unlike Libya, Egypt relies heavily on the Nile, making large-scale groundwater projects riskier. Despite this, Similar infrastructure could boost Egypt's agricultural capacity, if done sustainably. The question remains, can Egypt balance innovation with water conservation? Massive water transfers created stunning results. Over one million acres of desert have turned green, boosting Egypt's food production by 20%. But unexpected issues emerged. Water tables in some regions dropped by 10 meters and soil salinity increased, threatening long-term sustainability. Now, Egypt faces a choice, continue expanding these projects or develop alternative water-saving strategies. Egypt's desert transformation comes at a cost, over $10 billion invested so far. In return, agricultural exports have grown by 30%, but water stress is increasing. New irrigation techniques and desalination projects could improve efficiency, but require further funding. The challenge now is ensuring long-term sustainability. Can Egypt continue greening the desert without exhausting its water supply? Egypt's bold experiment is far from over. 
With new technologies and better resource management, the desert could one day become Egypt's agricultural heartland. The question is, will the country adapt quickly enough to secure its water future? A desert reclaimed, but at what cost? Egypt's projects are engineering marvels, yet water scarcity remains a threat. Was this a revolutionary step toward food security or an unsustainable gamble? Only time will tell if Egypt's vision of a green desert can truly last. Will Egypt's desert truly bloom? Or is this just a temporary success? Subscribe for more insights and watch these videos to explore other groundbreaking projects shaping our world.